Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will learn how to encode categorical data, i.e., transfer string, column, or columns into numbers. Let's import the panda says pd um, and read the gdp underscore china underscore outlier underscore cl dot csv in the dit uh, folder of the working directly into pandas data frame using read underscore csv we also display the first file rules um, okay uh, there are several methods to encode categorical data um, but uh, i will introduce you uh, three basic methods uh, in this lecture uh, which will be um, helpful to dealing with this problem for almost every kind of projects. Okay, the first one is replacing one column. Let's see. Uh, here, uh, we just uh, uh, transfer uh, the GDPR into number. Okay, let's see df new i create a new data frame uh, the reason is always the same because i will use the df in the rest of the lecture i don't want to uh, cha change it okay we use df replace um, to underscore replace equal a list in the list is the uh, original string um, string uh, or the categorical uh, data we have first second and third, fourth, and fifth. Then we replace them with value equal a list. It is one, two, three, four, five. No? Let's write first, then let's show the df new. Okay, yeah, that's it. But here you see uh, in the pandas uh, data frame, there are just 10 rules. Uh, uh, being displayed uh, in default. Uh, here, I also show you how to show or display all the rules. Because here we only see one file. Yeah. Uh, we can change the uh, the display uh, maximum rules. We can do this. PD. Panda set option set option then the display here's a quotation mark this play uh, dot max underscore low rules i think plural and uh, then we set to none that means there are no limitation the default is 10 here we set to none let's write it okay good no error so we display df 
new. Okay. Let's run. You see, we can see all the rules. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. No, we uh, only changed one column. How about more or multiple multiple columns? Uh, for example, in this case, uh, if you want also change the province, uh, just for example, we can do in this way. First, I create a numbering. For example, you can use any name. Um, numbering, we use a dictionary. Dictionary here, the first column, we still the GDPR. Then we use another dictionary here. Uh, in the dictionary, we write uh, the string first. We change first to one, uh, second to two, third, fourth, and fourth, and also fifth here, uh, fifth to five, like this. If you wanted to change other columns, you just uh, yeah use a comma, then uh, put another column here. Uh, okay, we just do that. Uh, do this, and you can yeah uh, try for practice. Okay, let's run. Run. Then here we use df create new equal df dot replace replace what here's the numbering numbering then we also display the df new to have a double check you see we get the same result as the first one but for the second methods you can put more columns here okay let's see the third method uh, which is called factorizing factorizing let's see he, here we do something uh, like we can change maybe here we just change the original df or you can do something like this maybe I, we yeah we can do this default copy we just use df copy is e for the df uh, dot copy but here we can change because in the rest uh, we don't need the df but here we learn to use a df copy no no we use the df copy df copy uh, we want to change the for example the gdpr in this lecture we name it uh, this is the name we use this yeah the variable name then we use pd the panda uh, leave space df uh, factor factorize then the df copy the gdp here ok 
Okay. Uh, what else? Then we uh, just take the uh, df copy. We take the index or the uh, numbers. I will I will show you later why we put this. Then let's write factorize. Oh, here something wrong. PD. PD. Pandas. That's mean. DF copy. We haven't run this. Okay. No, there's still problems. Length value two doesn't match the length. Uh, Fifty PD DF copy. We take zero. Oh, it's outside. Should be outside. This. You see. Uh, so we should be attention to this. This is PD factorize the DF underscore copy. GDPR, then we take the numbers. Yeah, that's me. Okay, then let's show the DF copy to double check if they have been changed. You see, but uh, for these methods, it changed to zero. One, two, three, four, yeah, like this. It starts from zero. Uh, in fact, in a lot of cases, uh, uh, in Python, yeah, it starts from zero for category uh, data. Yeah, different categories at zero, then one, two, uh, yes, like this. No, I explain why here is a zero. Let's just copy this. You see, when we remove this, remove and run, you see, there's a, these numbers and also there's a index two. So we want to just take the First, the index, this part. So we add uh, zero index. Let's run. You see, we only take this. This is the uh, reason. Okay, no, um, we want to see the result. Save the data. Uh, we save this. Uh, yeah, here uh, because it's GDPR. Uh, it it starts to uh, starts from one, which makes sense. Yeah, starts the first place, second place. Okay, let's see. No, we see uh, DF new. If you like the zero uh, in your project, yeah, of course, in some case, we start from zero. You just see this DF copy. Yeah, this is also good. Yeah, use different. Here's a DF new situation. Here's DF copy. For some other methods, maybe you can use df copy two or three or something like that new we have very familiar with this dot two csv two underscore uh, csv under the current uh, working directly in the folder of data
underscore uh, dash folder then dash the name here we call it gdp score china uh, underscore no i think we already um, cleaning all the data maybe you call this final yeah this is the final dot csv another things here i think we should remember especially for me i don't like the index because every times we we read the data in the data frame there's a new index so here we just set index false okay let's see we okay good there's no error let's come back to check china gdp china final yeah this one okay thank you uh, see you in the next lecture.